If I could really think of back and put one word to prison, even though you're in a very crowded place, it's a lonely place. Most of the folks that are incarcerated receive very little outside communication. I was six hours from home, and the majority of the, the, the folks that were incarcerated, I mean, it was the same. So we just got very rarely got a visit. We couldn't call because it was too expensive. So letter writing was it, but many of the folks that were incarcerated with me didn't really get any letters. It was rare that somebody in my cube would get a letter. And then so when I started doing Crossroads, the, letter, you know, the lessons started showing up with the letters. And so with that, um, I started digging into my Bible and doing the lessons. Um, sometimes the Bible isn't always so easy to understand and put together. So as a new Christian, you know, the Crossroads mentors helped, helped me understand what I was learning. But the beautiful piece that went with the lessons was that letter that came with it. And that letter was just powerful. It's really like gold. And it always seemed to kind of be the right words at the right time. My cube mates weren't getting any other letters. They'd ask if they could read my letters. Of course, I'd give them to them, and we have discussions about them. In fact, many of the, I kept a lot of the letters. Through that journey, you know, with Crossroads and, and the Inside Church, um, you know, I kind of got out of the hole that I was in. You know, I have the opportunity now to go out and speak on behalf of Crossroads as a former Crossroads student. I can never really put it into words. Um, when I'm speaking to the mentors about the impact that they are making. You know, so often they say, well, you know I, know, I don't know if the words that I'm writing are the right words. And just want to reassure them, I'm always reassuring them that the words that you are writing are the right words for that day, for that person. Because we have to remember that the Holy Spirit is involved in all of this. You know, in Hebrews, Hebrews 13, Paul, Paul tells us to remember the prisoner. But I, I, I look further at Matthew 25 where Jesus says, when you visit the prisoner, you visit me. Jesus didn't say that lightly. What he's telling us, at least from my perspective, is that we need to show up at the prison. I mean, it's a mandate to show up. So I say, well, not only are we as the church are supposed to meet the prisoner inside the prison, but the big benefit to that is that we get to meet Jesus there and he changes our lives.